Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a channel reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of May, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's inspired in the current Taurus season we are on. It's focused on uh, money mindfulness and if you would like to know more details about it just check in the description box um if you would like to donate and support my channel you can do that by following the paypal link which is also down below so aquarius i'll be channeling messages uh for the collective of your sign and then we'll tie it together also with the cards that will be showing up i feel like there's a little bit of a stressful tone to the next weeks there seems to be some sort of opposition, friction, um, opposite forces clashing to your intentions and desires. And for some of you, even your sense of freedom. It's like, yeah, power struggles, strength card. Your strength, um, your self-control is probably going to be um, something to master throughout the next weeks. You might feel at times like you're about to snap, about to lose it. So it's important that you ongoingly check up with yourself, with your stress levels, with your mental and emotional state. So you don't let yourself get to a point where you really reach your limits and you might end up losing it and throwing the towel or doing something that you can later regret. I feel like some of you Aquarius are tempted to to do something out of a moment of you know rage or frustration or so much tiredness and exhaustion. There's a lot of things that might be on your shoulders right now and some of you are just tired, exhausted that either you don't have the help, the cooperation, the collaboration, or even just the ease on the problem, the problemless, the ease on the things that you need to handle and the things you need to do. So many of you Aquarius are also searching for a way out of a situation that feels is controlling you, that feels is very, you know, something that feels like it's overpowering you or dominating you in levels you don't want. Some of you could be in very smothering, suffocating relationships, jobs, um, even home circumstances. You can feel tight in your home space, space for some reason right now. You might feel like you don't have your place or you don't have, you know, your the space to stretch your wings and to just be free and to just care and focus only on the things you want to care and focus this is a test of will for many of you so the strength guarantees especially in a soul position that you do have the strength that you do have the ability to overcome whatever struggles challenges again opposition conflicts you're being um confronted with but you need to activate this um strength archetype within you you have to use your mind above the instinct above the beast that wants to come out you need to tame the beast for a little while because this beast if it comes out i feel like for many of you the problem is that this beast if they if it comes out it's like for destruction for blood it's gonna come for 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 blood and if you don't know this about yourself you might get a taste of it of how angry furious uh willing to do certain things you're tempted to there's a lot of temptation to to react basically in ways that are not very even regular to you, normal to you. There's there's something about now this is the time where you need to use your mind, you're going to lose it. So there's that feeling of you've been using your mind for all 
this time, even in times where the appeal, the success will come at higher levels if you would follow more of your instinct. But now that you're asked to use your mind, you want to go in an opposite way or with an opposite tactic. So working on patience, building resistance, strength, stamina, health. It's very important. Some of you could be very physically um, turned on. So it's like your, 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 your body could be also speaking to you a lot in the sense of use this energy, this fire for other purposes beyond, you know, um, stressing yourself out more, attracting drama, getting yourself into conflicts and again, making the wrong moves that can destroy things you care about. So be physically active, um, use your sensuality, your sexuality to channel a little bit of this energy if it's possible. Uh, seek out ways to, through the body, release the excess of fire. Again, anger through physical sport can be you know, really, really, really good here. Now, it is possible also that you're trying to control your desires, period. So you can have very strong, lustful here desires towards someone. And I see some of you trying to control yourselves from moving in that direction. There's something holding you back. Or you're wondering if you should throughout the next weeks if you should make a move or if you should give in to, to temptation because there might be something very tempting to you right now around you or about to show up and you're just like in this energy of should I give in to it because I feel like for many of you Aquarius you will know straight away that this is more like a sexual thing sexual you know a sexual based attraction mainly you will know that it's lustful um, for those of you that do have a partner, you know, um, and things are not really um, in harmony right now, or you're, especially for, for Aquarius that have partners where there's power struggles, taking your problems to the bedroom is a little bit of the thing here that can help for some of you, of course. Uh, for others of you that this is not possible, uh, give yourselves each other like the breather that you need. Otherwise, I feel like you can get more and more and more tense and escalate for real fights. And for some of you, even physical, you can get physical in the wrong way. Some of you could be attracting situations where either you want to be violent, physically speaking, or there's someone that can want to be violent towards you, especially if you're dealing with strong fixed energy as your own. So in particular, Leo influences, but Leo, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. The thing is here, for many of you Aquarius, the more fixed you are, the more stubborn you are, the more... Um, the more resistant again you are, um, the more things are going to clash. Because for many of you, the point here is to learn also to establish, yes, healthy, healthy boundaries, but respect the boundaries of others as well. There's something to be learned here in terms of respect towards your boundaries but also other people's boundaries and it can be hard for you to even see uh, that you might also be stepping on someone else's boundaries or you might not be allowing someone in a certain way to either be mentally emotionally or physically free um, from your constant control this is a matter of control used in the wrong way it's all about strong energy used in the wrong way. The, um, the lesson, the experience for the next weeks is to learn how to direct this amazing energy towards other things. Goals in particular. 
Especially because I also feel like many of you are just tired, like um, Seven of Pentacles, like you keep, many of you Aquarius, you keep trying recipes that have proven to you already that are not going to bring a lot of abundance or uh, results the way you want. So why insist on this recipe? There's something about you needing to change the way you move about your uh, money um, intentions, your work, professional goals to give you more. So for those of you that you're wondering about money and career, it's about changing a little bit here the way you go about it, the way you select opportunity chances for yourself make sure that you're not insisting on something out of stubbornness or pride that you really see that the things you fight for you really see that they can grow that can bring you something in return you're 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 definitely here your own worst enemy throughout uh, the next weeks but you're not going to feel like that mainly because you're going to be faced with opposition perhaps you're going to hear a lot of no's or you're going to hear a lot of not now or um not enough or you know things that confront you with your ability to maneuver the situation uh and not you know just plainly clash with it and that's the thing i feel like some of you by maneuvering your strategy your tactic here you're going to get the results you want this is a lesson about flexibility and your ability to just you know sometimes contour the problems not um, meet them head on because i feel like there are situations and problems that are not that important but you might make it a big deal the thing is that you might make something a big deal that it's not another exciting energy here so I feel like again you can use this energy for other purposes than to just you know fight drama um, there's no need for this I feel like for many of you it's about using this energy to seek and explore uh, other things new things exciting things so you could be in an energy that invites you to explore elsewhere the thing that you keep trying to find in an environment or a place or a relationship that is not offering you that. This is just not offering you that. It's not because you insist that it's going to offer for many of you. For others of you, um, do different things. If you need to take that trip, take that trip. If you need to start a new hobby, start a new hobby. If you need to... Um, Leave the house, leave. I, I keep getting like it's about leaving. There's something here about you giving yourself an opportunity to thrive by moving elsewhere, differently. This is how you get your victory in anything you're concerned about throughout the next weeks. The next weeks might present to you an opportunity to actual travel, to go somewhere that can bring you huge relief in terms of stress levels. So take that chance to relax. Many of you need to relax, uh, but also to release a lot of energy. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.